On August 1, 2023, at 10.30 a.m., Slovakia officially handed over two Zuzana two self-propelled howitzers to Ukraine. The acquisition of these two howitzers is part of a larger contract for 16 units, jointly funded by Denmark, Germany, and Norway. Several images of the ceremony can be seen in a tweet from Kiev Post. The handover ceremony took place in the city of Dubnica nad Vaham at 10.30 a.m. and was attended by prominent figures, including Slovak Prime Minister Ludovic Oder and Defense Minister Martin Sklenner. The total cost of purchasing all 16 howitzers amounts to 92 million euros, and it is expected that Ukraine will receive all units by the end of 2023. This significant investment reflects the seriousness of the situation in Ukraine, which has garnered the full attention of the new Slovak defense minister. The joint project between Slovakia and Ukraine is not new, as a previous contract was signed in June 2022 for the supply of eight Zuzana two self-propelled howitzers. Ukraine received these eight units just seven and a half months after the contract was signed, with the final delivery taking place in January 2023. At the heart of the Zuzana II is a powerful 155mm-52 caliber cannon. The vehicle is reinforced with robust armor to protect its crew, with a focus on protection against small arms fire and artillery shell fragments. Additionally, the Zuzana II is equipped with NBC protection, a fire control system, air conditioning, and a land navigation system. With a maximum speed of 80 km per hour, the Zuzana II can quickly respond to changing combat scenarios and maintain a tactical advantage. Its operational range is 600 km, allowing the self-propelled howitzer to effectively support military operations over considerable distances. The Zuzana II can accommodate a crew of four members and measures 14.2 meters in length, 3.02 meters in width, and 3.52 meters in height, with a total weight of 32,400 kilograms. The delivery on August 1, 2023, reinforces the Ukrainian artillery capacity, which is crucial in the context of the Russo-Ukrainian conflict. As the conflict increasingly turns into an artillery duel, the addition of self-propelled artillery is always welcome, especially for pieces like the Zuzana II.